Welcome back. I hope we definitely put some respect on Aretha's name there. First and foremost, that's what we were trying to do there. Absolutely. Just make sure you pay your dues, pay your homage. She paved the way for a lot of things. So great to hear that little ditty on the on the break. Yeah, and that's if you're on YouTube, go check out the videos we just put out for uh, for who needs some respect in the NFL. It's kind of our that's how we paid our homage to Aretha. We gave you some players that need some need some respect and need your attention and guys you should be looking at right. if you're in deeper bench leagues making and some names for themselves in the preseason off season here mm -hmm. it's kind of the theme there but we're going to jump into a little preseason matchup here and discuss some guys but first we'll hit you with a little twitter plug you can catch us at the ff dynasty we all have individual handles you can see jay wayne at jay wayne's world you can catch dynasty big co at dynasty big co <laughs> and i'm at imc myers i keep it simple over here you're like IMC Myers at IMC Myers. Right. Um, definitely check out our website, theffdynasty.com. You got to be staying on that thing for all of our stuff and things. It's our satchel slash briefcase of classic vintage briefcase. All of our content and uh, a little bit of rookie rankings up there right now. And you can search for any of the videos or players that we've covered. Definitely hit the forums up. For um, sure. Register there and and. and Join the community there that's starting and get your questions answered and discussed. We're going to talk about some of them on the show. And, and if you want an extra hour of content a, a, a week, make sure to give us the $5 holler on Patreon. You can find that at the website or at Patreon.com. You can search the FF Dynasty. You can backslash the FF, uh, Dynasty. The FF Dynasty, however you want to get there. Yeah, if you um, just go to FFDynasty.com, it's in the middle of the page, all the way to the right, it says become a patron takes more time than actually is really going to come out of your bank account every month takes a few seconds to get that credit card out put that number in and then you're in, pay you're in the business way. you got an way. hour you got an extra hour of our sweet voices yeah but like jay wayne said a couple weeks ago about the website like he's re the amount of time and effort that he's put into breaking down each and every person individually off of the podcast we get on here and we run our mouths all night long and then jay wayne goes back and cuts it up we got first round pick over here in the production department you can go search on our website for key players instead of having to dig back through of, of you know a whole podcast if you want to go in there and look up something that we said on trey burton you can go in there and find stuff on every single player and the amount of time that Jay's put into this is absolutely ridiculous. So go over there to the website. It's build more and more. It's you know it's not seven years of content or anything yet, but it's out there. The amount that's going in, where we've come, is from like zero to sixty. It went from six, upgrades every day, six, six to midnight over there. It's a party for sure, <laughs> for sure. So let's let's get into uh, some some Broncos Bears matchup, and uh, let's start on the Bears side. Let's do it. We're gonna go a little Mitch Trubisky. Yeah. Well, Excuse me, Mitchell. Let's Trubisky. start off with Mitchell punchable face Trubisky. Such a punchable face. No disrespect. All right. Hey, don't be talking about my quarterback. That's your okay. quarterback. It's all it's my quarterback now. Why? Because I'm so burnt and heavy, it ain't even uh, funny. Don't be talking about my quarterback. Well, let's pump the brakes on Burton for a second. Typical big co jumping four <laughs> spots ahead in the show sheet. We'll get the you talk about my quarterback. We got a lot to unload on Burton. But let's start with Mitchell here. <laughs> I think he's been an up and down through the preseason here. I think this 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 club um, is really going as far as the ups and downs of Mitchell Trubisky is going to take him. I think what you saw at a, on like a second and nine there, you saw a nice scramble from from Mitch. Um, I think that is really the key to unlocking this offense and keeping it out of trouble. Don't make Mitchell force anything that he doesn't, you know see and, and, is, and is a nice easy throw that he feels comfortable making like there's some athleticism with this guy move him around a little bit tell him that it's okay to take off obviously you want him to slide you don't want him to be doing anything stupid but there is some underrated athleticism with Mitchell Trubisky um, and I think they really need to lean on that and and just not make him force anything yeah well I think that you know they had a rough week one and you saw coming back into week two let's get some real quick easy plays drawn up I mean, Nagy, what's that? It's a tree bird. <laughs> yeah, well, Nagy, he's coming. He's a Andy Reid disciple, and Andy Reid has been one of the innovators in let's take the West Coast offense and morph it into more than just quick passes. Let's go in there and set things up and stretch the defense out, and obviously Tyreek Hill helps all that stuff. And the Bears have different versions of Tyreek Hill, not necessarily that top-end quality, but they got different – they got – 
They got weapons all of a sudden. They went and they spent money on that offense, hot and heavy in the offseason, and they made draft. They traded up for a wide receiver and Anthony Miller. They're trying You haven't to, even seen Allen Robinson be able to play right, and they give signed, him that alpha one. They sign Allen Robinson. They draft Anthony Miller. They bring in Burton on a huge contract. We'll talk about more him in a second. But all this stuff, like what you just said about Mitchell Trubisky, the key to that offense for unlocking it, he is the he's the key to the ceiling for the offense, no doubt about it. And that's a lot of weight and pressure for a young quarterback to see a team go and spend all this money and draft capital, trade up for a second round wide receiver who looks awesome, and say, Okay, buddy, we're setting the table for you. Yeah. But good for the Bears to not wait and say, Oh, well, you know, right there in your fourth year of you your like rookie a guy, con- go get a guy. Like and the, let the, him do basically his thing. the opposite of what the Cowboys are doing for Dak Prescott on his rookie co- contract. The Bears are like, We're not gonna blow this opportunity to spend, we're gonna the Rams, spend a bunch of money. Rams spending money right. while Jared Golf's cheap. Right. You know? So I think like the last like ten I don't I don't know what the actual number is, but like the, the quarterbacks who were being paid like the highest in the league or the highest average in the league, I saw this somewhere today that it was basically it's been in the last 10 years have been Eli Manning and, and Ben Roethlisberger. Everybody else has been like average or well below average of the median salary for a quarterback who's won the Super Bowl in like the last 10 years. Gotcha. Um, so, right, right. So what you're saying is is 100 percent right. That's that's the big thing right now is if you can get like the Seahawks were doing exactly you know, they and, did and it. The Eagles just did and like you can spend a ton of like the Eagles went and spent a bunch of money on a defensive line. They had seven guys you could rotate. They had in the there. best defensive line you could get, right. and then they got Michael Bennett. Right, and then they added to it. They brought in and Michael they, Bennett. They, they let it. some guys go on, on the you know. Well, but, yeah, but they kept but, but they, they added, kept the big ones. They kept the best ones they had for sure. And, and then you saw the Rams spend all this money and trying to trying to get over the the next hump of 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 where they need to go and you've seen it time and time again with quarterbacks in the rookie deal and this has been like kind of a rubik's cube that people have figured out a little bit since the quarterback's been a slotted position it's a loophole is a successful rookie quarterback contract right so mitchell trubisky to me i i i don't hate mitchell trubisky i i certainly like some pieces around him probably going to end up missing out on the mitchell trubisky because i'm uh, he's just somebody that i've just never find myself drafting or wanting to put on my team so as you know i don't dislike mitchell Trubisky by any means he's just going to be a guy that is i'm probably going to miss out on if he is good because i'm just i'm kind of staying away from him for the most part i'm definitely going to miss the train because i I haven't ever really felt it we've had this discussion before uh i just and he hasn't really showed me anything you know this offseason i know it's just two preseason games and you can't be getting overreacting or anything but I just you mentioned his ups and downs. Like I feel like he just had more downs than I've seen ups. I, he just he yeah. seems to be missing and he had, balls. And he, you know, he's, John Fox doesn't help you out when your that's team's very already true. bad in the dumps and you don't have a ton of weapons around you. Just that's we were talking true. about Flacco at the beginning of this right. show. I mean, you you. you you know, there's there's a bad system and, and nobody to throw it to. You you could have some downs. Yeah. He just he just looks a little confused. I don't know if that's the punchable face or not. He just looks like he <laughs> doesn't quite know what's going on out there. He bobbled that snap, caused a safety uh, up in his own end zone. I, I don't want to crucify him. Well, they put that him. one just, on white hair, and we'll get to the line stuff in a minute. Um, well, that was a good... good but, but real quick, like, one thing I want to say about Mitchell is a lot of things that I'm reading are that this guy... Uh, he cares. The, you're hard pressed to find another person who cares as much about this team than he does, which is something that I love to hear. Yeah, I love to hear. Uh, you know, and it's. I'm just. Okay, I'm not buying in. I'm kind of with Jay Wayne in this. I'm not going to say that he's going to be bad. I just not believing that he's going to be elite. Well, that's I, feel, cool. I don't feel good about the pieces I have around him. Like well, my, my Allen Robinson stock, I haven't even seen him on the field together. Don't feel great about it right but now. Well, you like, got you got. I first, like the system. First round draft pick past Paxton Lynch that just became the number three because he plays Fortnite too much. And you got <laughs> that's but that's that's that's, that's serious yeah. business here. You got a first round draft pick quarterback who's playing video games, and you got Mitchell Trubisky who's hard pressed to find somebody that tries harder and cares more. You know so that's that's a good and i that was a good point casey just made about not only were you in the stone age john fox offense last year you also had the worst supporting cast to try to produce outside of a decent offensive line and a good running back so all those things he's a super young quarterback still very limited college resume other than one really good season in north carolina so his actual number of games played snaps taken is really low for somebody that went that high in a draft right and so he's he was so, a gamer in that season he's though. a gamer but he's super young super you know very low on the uh experience level you know he's not like a quarterback that's coming in and played to start it three years in a row in college or anything like that so like maybe it's the punchable face but like say he's any, green he's, he's very he's green. very green but and like 
As far as the, I'm staying, I I don't I'm not gonna pay the price to get Mitchell Trubisky because that's my whole quarterback philosophy. I'm gonna stay out of that conversation right now. So I, I'm probably not gonna have Mitch because he costs too much. But I don't think I think just this is the same system, and you know Nagy will tweak it and make it his own. But he's been over there with Andy Reid. They boys are crunching numbers and X's and O's like crazy over there i, I think, like the system i don't think I, he'll be terrible i just don't know i'm he's saying but he, he doesn't even have to be elite to get fantasy points sure, sure you know what i mean like he might not be out there carrying his team on his back and a rodging it up well i mean but like can just be, the way this be team, alex smith but right you know. but but alex smith was qb3 last year right, you right, know what right. i mean so in that system but you know he's 34 yeah, you know, yeah, took him a yeah. While. Mental never, prime, right. that quarterback mental prime. I like to talk about. He's obviously in that. So you're not taking Mitchell Trubisky. I hope you're not paying up for Mitchell Trubisky to th- feel like you're I don't plugging. think you necessarily do, but there he, is. It, it, yeah, yeah, but it, and if you're if you're like Mitchell Trubisky is all of a sudden your favorite quarterback, that's great. Pay up for him and then get Alex Smith on the cheap and plug him in in week one. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But I think the system will make fantasy points for the quarterback because the weapons are all over the place and because look what happened last week. All they were doing was trying to get some quick things, some first downs to build momentum and confidence in this young quarterback like right. we talked about. And what that ended up doing was taking them straight down the field, even though it was supposed to be like straight vanilla offense and not doing much. The coach had to come out and be like, you know, let's do a couple of plays because we need to move the ball, get some first yeah. downs. And it resulted in points. 